Now, finally, tonight we're going to have a bit of a weather report. Uh, we were due to have a weatherman uh, who was, was due. Rory McSorley. Okay, you're in, How are you doing? Finish. How are you doing? Bob Frank I see you haven't thought out. Oh, we haven't at all. Oh, there's no sign of any world of frosting happening yet now. No, but, it, but, it, it's, it's rather strange that there's still a bit of ice at this time of year. Oh, surely to God, God will now examine from that there, there bit of ice. That would be a bad day now for this frost, but honest to God. But could I tell you, to finish this whole crack off anyway, as I was saying, I think, after all, everyone, I think I'm going to end up getting, I think I am getting in, not frost, but myself. <laughs> So look, my hands is even going blue. I do that, mate. Uh, maybe it's rigor mortis. I have to say, folks, that uh, a few months ago, Rory, Aye. you asked me to judge a talent competition Aye. in the Millennium Forum. And, and a great and it was, night's crack it was. A great night's crack it was, too. And, and, and well done to Rory. Rory actually organised the competition with all the schools in the North West. And he was the compere on the evening, and I said on, on that night that you were going to be a star. Ah, oh, well, that now, was little very did, nice Little of you. did I know, within a couple of weeks, you were an internet sensation. Sure, wasn't it how, unbelievable? How are you managing with all the fame? Oh, well, God, it's been great altogether. God, you, you really couldn't beat it, sure. But it's unbelievable, all these countries it's been in in such a short space of time. But, God, there's definitely a wee guardian angel looking over me to make sure that I, I was going to be able to retire before I'd even done a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody thinks this is an act, but this is really you, isn't it? Well, God, you can ask any other relations or whatever of them. I mean, God, their heads been deep listening to me this last 18 years. Now, the McSorley's, your father's originally from... No, the, the, oh, well, the father's from Park, Park. and the father's from Finney. But your grandfather's from where? Oh, no, oh, well, well, well he's from Park as well, but with, with uh, well, I think, I think he was... Was he not born Donegal? No, well, I think he was born in the Gentiles, aye. <laughs> Or the Glantis, even. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's quite a, there's quite a, a family circle. <laughs> and yet you're an only child. Ah, uh, no, awkward oh, well, is it any wonder. <laughs> See, in all seriousness, how are you managing with the fame and, and school and, and get inundated with, with the media? How, oh. how are you managing? Oh, well, we, we, we've sort of only been, you know, started back to the school there. Just I happened to be off whenever, I, just there was all these old Humpty Dumpty exams on there, just whenever all, all this fame started happening there the last week. But, um, oh, no, it's been grand. I mean, sure, at the end of the day, <coughs> there's many so on the same age as me as having to go to the part-time jobs there every, every, every night of the week. And sure, I might only have to go one or two nights a week, and all I have to do is, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing for a couple of hours? And now, I mean, God, you know, we've admitted you're getting paid £500 or so for telling Vassin people, how are you doing? <laughs> Politicians have been doing <laughs> that for years. Ah, oh, she couldn't beat that now. <laughs> Well, we're hoping just to get all the friends and relations and fans and neighbours and all together just, just, just for like a, like, a, like, a wee, like a wee thing now coming up in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook the other day. We're trying to get a, a family reunion. Uh, oh, no, no, it's no grand fam well, well, the family, all the relations will be invited, surely to God, but it's, oh, no, it's just, just for, for all of the fans, just, just uh, all these ones are saying they're a while to meet me, so I'd like to meet all of them now as well. Don't tell me your relatives are going to give you 500 quid a handshake, are they? Oh, no. But, God, that, that's, just, that's just what I say. I mean, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Just, uh, just have, having to go... All you have to do just for a couple of hundred pounds is just go about and shake a lock of people's hands. So where are, you, where are you off to in the next three or four weeks? Well, God knows. Well, we're, we're for going to a wee plus down in Mavalli or, or no, even the, the Red Castle just, just to do all, all us here, meeting and grit and crack there now. That's what that'll be this Friday night now. And then there be no, then uh, next Monday we're for going, up, going up to a wee plus in Belfast or on as well. And oh, God, sure, it's all go. Sure, it's great crack altogether. Would you, would you, do you like to get into TV? Oh, God, would you? Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be queer? I'd crack altogether. But God, now that's what I, why a lot of people's been asking me whether there was any truth in that, that story that we were going out to your woman, Ellen, there. Oh, no. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, well, that's herself. Apparently that is what her name is, but oh, here, we better stand on this car here. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? But, um, 
Oh, well, now, well, I just heard that wee story now, and I don't know how true it does, but we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to play it by ear. But apparently there's another wee man out in New York there, a wee man, uh, a wee man, Jimmy, uh, on The Tonight Show. Jimmy and, Fallon? Aye, himself. And mm -hmm. then he was, he was just showing the wee clip of me in a, on his um, television station, and he was just saying then, he just showed the thing just then, all this crack, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to need to get the legal drinking age up and all this here. And then he not drinking at all. Right, people, what's the thing about you being 16? You're actually 18. Oh, I'm 18 now. You're 18. Oh, no. no. Yeah, just 18. And you're looking for your own TV show? We'd like to have your own television to program. Be honest, sh should I be worried? Well, what would you be worried about? Well, Frank Gallagher. Do you know Frank Gallagher? Frank, oh, your, oh, your fella I, does the Donegal I, programme. He, he's getting on, he's getting on a wee bit, you know. He's getting on a wee bit, very grey looking, you know. Ah, uh, well, well, sure. Well, I could do his job then. Is that right? And I'm through just all the wee sheep shearing competitions in our, <laughs> on uh, Irish TV. <laughs> sure, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Are you going to guys say good night to the folks? All ah, right, good, good, good night. What, to the mother and father? Oh, I, I, it's the mother and father and oh, everybody well, now, else. Before, before we go, anyway, there was a, there was a couple of ones, and I never got saying hello to them on Saturday night there. Now, it was deplorable the way I was only allowed two minutes there. But uh, but anyway, uh, and it sort of put me off the whole thing. But anyway, there's a wee wee of ones. I'd like to give a request to just to all the ones in the dairy bus depot, the fat controller, Davy, and to all the bus men and the women bus men, uh, we hope you're just all keeping well. <laughs>